Guys, this is Dave Sharp, and welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Uh, as you guys can see, I have um, some some really special guests, as promised. I announced this to a small portion of our community yesterday inside of our Facebook group, but uh, we have got Evan and Eugene, the affiliate. Yeah. Members. What up? What's going on, fellas? What is up? What's up? Yo. I'm good. How you guys feeling? Uh, pretty nervous to be honest, but you know we'll do our best. We'll do our best to share all our secrets and all our <laughs> little hacks. Feeling legendary. I got my legendary shirt. So <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, I've I've got my um, I've I've obviously got my my legendary gear on as well. Um, yeah, and I put nice. it on every day. You know what I mean? I stay. I yep. stay I've, got to, I've got to adjust over here. You can see I've got the polo. That's executives only. We don't sell that particular shirt, but mm -hmm. we might decide to release that here in the in the near future. Anyways, guys, let me give you a a um, brief kind of synopsis. Evan and Eugene, if you don't mind, let me kind of tell folks um, my experience with you and and uh let mm -hmm. them know kind of who you are based on how i know you and um then we'll get into your story and kind of what you've been doing so these guys i i basically they popped up on my radar when they bought um and enrolled inside of our coaching program and kind of came in um like many people do uh i see a name and i have no expectations at all, right? I can't have any <laughs> I can't have any expectations because, you know, if I had expectations that everybody was going to, you know, go off and have all this massive success when they didn't do it, then I would constantly be let down. So I whenever somebody buys a course from me, and this is for all you affiliate marketers or course creators or people who want to help people, whenever somebody buys something from me, a course, a book, enrolls in a coaching program, I have zero expectations. I have to, right? Um, mm -hmm. Because otherwise, if they do nothing, then all of a sudden, um, I, you know, maybe I might feel like crap about it. So, anyways, uh, these guys come in, and my next, my next experience with them is we're we're hosting a mastermind inside of Orlando, Florida, in a in a huge mansion, which is where we host all of our masterminds when we're not in the middle of a pandemic. Um, and here's these two guys, these two brothers sitting right there in the front row and, uh, throughout the weekend, very quiet, just taking, notes, <laughs> just taking notes. Okay. Not, 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 um, speaking up a lot, not sharing how much they know, but asking a lot of questions. All right. So I'm like, okay, cool. Here's these dudes taking a lot of notes. Like I've actually never seen anybody take so many notes. I don't know if that's like <laughs> something that you guys do a lot, but anyways, super uh, like just sponges. That's that's that was my takeaway from that mastermind. Super sponge, absorbing everything that you could, and uh, and of course then rolls around. We start having coaching calls, and you guys mm -hmm. get on a coaching call. You come with a prepared with questions, scenarios, what you're trying to accomplish. I give you instructions. I might give you a script or a template and tell you this is how I've ran that particular campaign in the past. You go, you implement it, which is key here. You implement it, and then you come back to the coaching call. You've got the results based on you implementing it, and then you've got a new level that you're trying to grow to, something new that you're trying to accomplish. And um, you've been giving us updates inside of our Facebook group and inside of our community mm -hmm. every you know couple of days, letting us know how you're doing, what you're accomplishing. And it started off real small, right? Wasn't huge. Mm -hmm. Started off mm -hmm. small. And then just the other day you said we hit – actually, the one that I remember about you guys was posting that you had um, finally uh, uh, made – uh, enough money to be able to take your parents out to dinner. Yes, yes, yes. Then a couple of oh, days yeah. later, a couple of days later, a week later or something, I don't know, the weeks are all kind of running uh, together right now for me, but then you post the milestone, we've just made 10, 
k in uh, in 30 days okay so um first of all let's just go here and give you guys a round of applause for that thank you <laughs> thank uh, you thank you so much and, and now let's get so the party started <laughs> um, no so so guys tell me tell me first and foremost i gotta know how that felt for you to be able to take your parents out, pay for their dinner. And I believe that you said that you, your parents or your family or friends or something were super skeptical about what you're doing. So tell us a little bit about what your family dynamic is like and maybe what your parents had expected from you or, you know, what, what, you know, did they want you to be lawyers, doctors? Did they want you to go to college? Did they think you starting an online business was stupid? And then how did it feel? Tell us a little bit about that. Because, and I'm asking because I think a lot of people out there deal with that same thing. You know, people in their friend, you know, friend circle, family circle, judging, criticizing, whatever, because they're not being good little boys and girls and going to college and getting good little jobs. Um, and then how it felt to be able to turn around and give back uh, to them like that. Um. So I think like so. First of all, like our parents definitely not entrepreneurs you know they are very hardcore nine to five you know my, my dad i said that in the last interview but our dad you know has been in the same job same company for 40 years right so pretty much his whole life so that's like so kind of when we first said you know what you know, we want to be an entrepreneur we want to do our own business yeah you know like they were re they were really scared you could tell you know, my mom, especially, I remember like one time we hopped on a call, like the, when we, when we were in like the 15 day business challenge, we hopped on a call with the business plan advisor. Right. And then, you know, my mom saw, and then my mom was like, yo, be careful. Don't get scammed. <laughs> so her first reaction is always going to be, don't get scammed, be careful. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, that our parents and, you know, it's not like they're very, very not supportive. Like, you know, we're arguing or anything, but it's like, you could tell they were super skeptical you know, they had no idea what affiliate marketing was. In fact, they had, like they thought we were just, you know, like influencers, you know, like flipping out like, oh, this is, oh, this is my product or whatever, right? So, right. So that's kind of like how they understood what we were doing. And then for you know, Eugene and I, we we're just like, oh man, you know, I'm, I, I didn't want, we don't explain anything. We know we're just gonna work hard and just like, you know what? One day I'm gonna show them that you know what, it's worth it, and I'm gonna show them with money because that's probably the most you know, the most persuasive thing that you can do um, in terms of just showing them that this is legit. Right. And I think that that first milestone for us was always was always to treat them to a dinner. And it wasn't like anything super fancy, sure. but, you know, just the fact that I was able we were able to do that. Um, it meant a lot to us. Like, I think we'll always remember, you know, I still have that receipt. It's in my it's in my, it's in, our, it's in my room. And, you know, I always remember that moment when we when we paid and we left the restaurant and it, it, it was a really happy moment for us. Yeah, because it's not just about paying, about treating them to that dinner. It's more like during that dinner, you know, we get a lot of chance to actually talk about the things that we're actually doing. Because, you know, s since day one, we had like, we had difficulties explaining to them what affiliate marketing is. Sure. Like, we can't. It's really hard to get them to understand because this is something that they're not familiar with. Right. Like, you know, it's just online. It's just like what Evan was saying that, oh, they just thought that we are trying to be influencers, try to be on YouTube, be famous and stuff like that. But of course it's not, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, we, and the thing is, like, for us, because we, especially after joining Legendary, of course, uh, the monetary, the money part is very important. But we want to also show them that, you know what, what we're doing, we're actually helping a lot of people. Because right. we're trying to like focus on giving a lot of education, but the fact that because again because they're not familiar with um, how the business runs and stuff like that, that's why. And the fact that we we were they have to really pick why we want to really show them that hey this is something legit. It can't just be like because my parents they, at, at first they were really worried, especially you know they worry about me. They sure. they just think that I'm just staying at home, like try to like film videos and that's it. Right. And so so that's why like you know. We want to show them that, of course, the uh, first of all, the the monetary part, the money part. That hey, you know what, we're actually making money. Um, but the fact that you know, during that dinner, we we get to really talk a lot, and we gotta get to share a lot, and then really let them understand. And the fact that you know, I still remember when 
my father when like he gave us a smile and he was like you know what i don't know exactly what you guys are doing but you know i know you guys are working hard and you guys are getting results and i'm very proud of you that means a lot to us sure more than just you know the money so yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> i get that i mean and and i think that a lot of us growing up um uh, I don't know about you viewers out there who are listening mm-hmm. to us right now, but I mean, I, I can definitely relate to wanting to make parents, mm-hmm. uh, friends, family members proud, you know, um, mm-hmm. but, but getting that validation from mom and dad, parents is a big deal. And, you know, it's it's awesome that you guys got that because a lot of people don't ever get that, you know, they don't ever get that. Um, I wanted to give all of you guys, uh, including including you, Evan and Eugene, something to think about in terms of when mm-hmm. somebody asks you what you do. You know, really the big idea behind what we're doing with affiliate marketing when, for example, if we go out and we sell a book, whether it, it, and if we're doing affiliate marketing, obviously we're selling somebody else's product. And if we're mm-hmm. writing our own book or our, our own course or something, we're selling our product, right? Um Mm-hmm. But really, that's the online education space. And I, I recently redid our business plan class, uh, which is what sells our business blueprints and our coaching. And I added mm-hmm. a slide in there that helped people to understand what they're doing. And, and, I, and I said mm-hmm. that this is something that you can be proud of um, because if somebody asks you, what do you do again? You can respond, I'm in the online education space. I market online courses to people who want to learn skills and would rather do it from home and much more affordably than enrolling in traditional college. And then somebody might ask you, well, what kind of skills? Well, like online marketing, weight loss, personal growth, or becoming a better parent, right? And Mm -hmm. I think now, guys, we're transitioning into this place to where e-learning, online education is, is a lot more understandable after the coronavirus pandemic and everybody's now kind of being forced to do work and learn from home. Um, Colleges, Mm -hmm. I think we're going to start to see doing a lot more online classes just because people are going to be afraid to go into class. Um, For sure. People are going to be working from home a lot more. So, Mm -hmm. you know, the, the, in, for me, and this is kind of, this is something that I, I want to give to you and I also want to give to all the viewers here because um, you're right. If, if, if I'm selling something to somebody and they don't understand what they're going to be doing, like if, like for me, I've been trying to teach people affiliate marketing for 10 years. I have been. That's what I've been doing and what I've been teaching. Mm-hmm. But what we're really trying to – what we're really doing, especially since we're selling education products, is we're, is we're in the online education industry. And it's it, it, it doesn't that make a whole lot more sense? And isn't that a whole lot easier to understand when you frame it like that than just trying to, to trying to explain to somebody what affiliate marketing is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know? sure, for sure, <laughs> yes. So um, I want to give everybody that script that I just said, um, and. Uh, um, uh, Maybe we can get that. Hold on a second. Let me let me take a screenshot of that and and just try to get that over to our team and um, and uh, maybe we can kind of post that out there for people just so they can have that script as well because I think a lot of people in this industry really kind of struggle with just explaining. You know, what do I do? Mm-hmm. You know, maybe they're trying to start a business in affiliate marketing or start a business selling courses and they're trying to explain to their like spouse, right? It's not always their parents. Sometimes it's their spouse. Like, what are you mm-hmm. doing? Like, what are you spending time and money on? And it's like, oh, well, mm-hmm. affiliate marketing. Well, what the hell is that? Um, well, you know, let, let me, right? And it's like, it's so much easier to just explain and, and, and tell somebody I'm in the online education space. You know, I sell books mm-hmm. and courses uh, to help people become better marketers or better parents, or I sell other people's books and courses that teach them uh, how to improve their life or business. So anyways, um, let so so you guys have been doing this for how long? Since September 2019. Literally September first, like that was that was the that was the day that we started, 
Yeah, so around six months, six, seven months, yeah. Okay, okay. That's awesome. That's that's really incredible. Um, what do you think, you know, there's so many people that come in and, and want to start businesses in, in the online education space, doing affiliate marketing, selling their own courses, etc. What do you think is getting you guys results? And you are starting to see kind of what the, the industry is like, how many people are in it. It's just like anything. It's just like going to college. It's just like getting a job. Some people are really successful. Some people aren't. What do you think is giving you the success and the edge that you've been getting uh, in the past few months? I think the number one thing um, definitely for sure is that consistency. And I think like a lot of a lot of people, especially in the beginning, you know, they come in, they might, they might have bought a course, they might have joined some type of mentorship, whatever, and they're like super pumped up. Right, and they're like, you know, I got this. You know, they all, they're all super motivated, and then like a month, two months afterwards, they're just like, oh man, you know, they realize, you know, it, it was a lot tougher than they thought. You know, maybe they weren't getting that many sales, or maybe they weren't getting the, they didn't get that, hit that number that were expect that they were expecting to hit, and then they just start to, you know, slack off. Right, and I think that's kind of the number one. Like we see this all the time. You know, people that are, you know, they're super motivated, and then they just suddenly they just completely they don't post anything they don't do anything they just completely stop i think for us that has been the biggest advantage because on some september till now we've been being we we're super 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 consistent you know having our daily action plan and just executing on that every single day i think that's like the biggest advantage that we had and i'm not saying like oh we had we had everything sorted out in the beginning um when we first started, honestly, we didn't really know what we were doing, right. right? But we just, we just, we just kept going forward, right? Even if it's, even if it was wrong, like even if like when we went forward and we realized that, oh shoot, it was actually, you know, we're not supposed to do this, you right. know. But we didn't stop. We continued to go, we adapt, and we improved. And that's, I think, that's really the biggest reason why we've been able to, you know, see some of the success that we've been having in this amount of time. So when you say going forward, let's 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 sort of break down what going forward means, right? For those of you out there, mm-hmm. I want to I want to give you both the big picture, okay? But I also want to try mm-hmm. to get as specific as possible. So with with um so when you say going forward, what what like I think that a big challenge that people deal with is they they start this they start down this path of of starting their own business online doing affiliate marketing say for example and because they don't really know exactly what they're doing i can relate to this when i first started out they sit down at their computer and have a tendency to go into just training mode versus taking mm-hmm. action and 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 basically consuming more training consuming more pitches consuming more webinars consuming consuming mm-hmm. versus creating so how did you battle um, and, and, and resist that, that urge when you didn't know exactly what you were supposed to be doing or what was going to get your results? How did you, how did you resist that urge or that tendency to just go into more consuming and, and instead go into creating? I think like when we first started, like I think for us, like in terms of the consuming, like we actually – Actually, we don't consume a lot in a sense that like, like I don't, I don't sit through too many trainings and I watch a lot of webinars. And I think the biggest problem, actually, the first problem was that when we first started, we were trying to do everything, right? That's how like we're moving forward. We're moving forward with TikTok, moving forward with YouTube, moving forward with Instagram. And then we were just like, we were trying to do everything. We're like, you know, we have two people. We got to be everywhere, right? And I think like that, that was kind of like the first issue that we had in terms of moving forward is we were like trying to be everywhere, but we were like half assing everything. We weren't really doing well in any of the platforms. Right. And then that was kind of like our first obstacle. First challenge was like, okay, shit, maybe we should do, we should actually scale down a little bit and just focus on one to two platform, focus on one paid advertising, um, one traffic store, one paid traffic source yeah. and one free traffic source, right. Which is what you teach. Um, mm-hmm. and, and um and then that was like step that was like phase one and then i think like 
phase number two in terms of like moving forward was like being super focused and like producing content right like like you said like not consuming not looking at too many webinars not looking at like you know training after training or youtube video after youtube video we just kept creating content and you know we just that i was like i, I think it was just the focus like that like that was yeah like having one one specific focus and just keep implementing on it and then once you get to a certain point then you continue to do some training and then you train for a bit and then you continue to implement and that that kind of learn what was that learn implement what was it learn, implement teach was it yeah. i think that was like that's kind of like the model learn, that we, we were learn kind of do teach learn. i learned do teach there yeah. we go okay eugene i want to i want to throw this over to you as well yes uh, guys wh yep. while you're watching this if you could let us know down below if you have struggled if you have had challenges with trans transitioning over from that uh, consuming to that creating uh, kind of mode, right? Um, Eugene, tell tell me. I want you to chime in. Here. Yes. Um, what? How do you battle? How do you battle the 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 demon right here between this six inches right here? How do you battle the demon that says to you in the beginning? You don't know anything. Nobody wants to listen to you. You don't have enough credibility or success. How did you battle that mental demon? And how do you still continue to battle that? Now, I'm going to be completely honest. Please. When I first started, I had a lot of fear. I mean, I'm not saying that I like I overcome all the fear. Now, I still have fear. Yeah. Like, that's, that's just, you know, human nature, right? But at first, you know, um, of course... There's a lot of self-doubt where I just don't think I was good enough to be teaching anyone, telling anyone that, oh, you guys should do this or should do that. Right. But I think one of the things that give us that advantage um, is to really leverage um, the, the community and also leverage the success of other affiliates in the same community what i mean by that is you know i think the reason another reason why we really like affiliate marketing is because it's such a high leverage business and you know when we're able to leverage and really try to model off what other people are doing like you know just like for example you yourself dave um and also the things that we learn from a lot of other marketers sure we keep learning and we keep seeing how you guys were able to, you know, not, it's not just teaching, but use, let's say, for example, use your own story right. to tell people or to, uh, to send that message. And that's something that I realized that, you know what, I have my own story and I want to, you know, um, to impact other people too through my story. I'm not saying that they, they have to be t um, like listening to me or like, you know, I have to agree with me 100%, but at least this is something that's a way for me to express how I feel and how I do my business. And that is something where that's why we focus so much on our brand, especially you know, now I'm not just doing it alone, I'm doing it with my brother. Right. And this is something where people were able to relate a lot more. Yeah. And again, it's not like, it's not saying that because, oh, I have a dot knowledge, knowledge or because I'm very experienced and people have to listen to me. It's more like, you know, because we when we are doing this business it's true that i'm as i started i didn't have a lot of experience but um i make it very clear and you know same with evan too you know we stand for something when we started this online business and that was something that um i think especially after joining legendary it makes us realize how important that is to let people know what we stand for let's talk you know, about when we're that. Doing what, business. what what yeah. what do you mean by that because i think that that's i think i think I didn't expect for this conversation to go that direction, but I think that's a super interesting and important point because I can relate to that. When I started, um, I always had a powerful message around what I stood for. Uh, I was mm -hmm. not the perfect guy. I was not the, um, and I think a lot of you guys who are watching, you know, would, would be able to understand this about me because I, I still have this message. I'm not the I'm not the perfect guy. I don't have the model past. I don't have a bunch of degrees to impress you 
with. I don't. I didn't have a job uh, that was really high level. I didn't come from corporate America, even. You know, but what I stand for is hard work, integrity, doing the right thing when nobody's looking, um, giving back to people, and using my struggles and turning them into my strengths. You know, turning my mess into a message. You know, so that resonates big time with me. What do you guys stand for? And how have you communicated that in your marketing? Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Evan, you can, you can add on it afterwards. Um, so for us, you know, the thing is, again, that's another reason why we, uh, we got so attracted to Legendary. Because for us, you know, uh, we have three core values in our business. Um, it's knowledge, you know, getting that right knowledge. Because I think that's very, very important, of course. Um, the second one is integrity, and this is something that we find a lot in Legendary too. Especially, you know, when you are representing us, you know, you the way you give us focus so much on education and caring so much about your students, and then um, you know all the affiliates here. That is something that we're able to relate to you a lot for that. And the the other last one is uh, collaboration. You know, we don't believe in. Like not only believe so we not believe in competition, but we want to have collaboration sure. because that's the only way we'll be able to grow and to be able to to learn a lot more. And because for us, since day one, when we decide to do this business and we take this business online, we know we're gonna do this long term. And the fact that you know we're actually putting our faces in front of people, right? right. People know us as the brothers, and we just want to send them. Like for us. Whether we're, you know, creating content or when we're writing our ad copy or when we're talking with our prospect, you know, it's, of course, letting them know um, what we are promoting is very important. But then the most important thing for us, we always focus on to really let them know, you know, this is something that we really believe in. And the fact that, you know, it's not just myself, but we, you know, I'm doing it with my brother together. Like that is something, first of all, it's very meaningful, but at the same time. This is something that we represent. And we want people who believe in us to be able to see to see that, to be able to relate to that message too. Because that's the only way where they will be able to not just follow us, be able, but also be able to take action. And that's something that we learn from you during that mastermind when you talk about how you have to be the leader, like people have to be led. And that's something that, you know, especially after the mastermind, we really focus on putting that and emphasize that in our message for our business. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Evan, do you want to chime yeah. in on that? I just want to add like that point specifically, just the last point on leading. Like mm -hmm. you, you said something in the mastermind, which is your leads are meant to be led or you have to lead mm -hmm. your leads. Right. And I think that's super, super like, that's like, like for me specifically, like I really want to focus on is how can I lead people to results, right? So for us, the results would be helping people build businesses, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, maybe I don't have, you know, when we started, we, yeah, I don't have all those crazy millions of dollars. I'm not like Nathan Lucas or whatever, right? But <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you're able to, when you like, of course, like there's in terms of the strategy, that's why, you know, we're promoting other people's product. We're leveraging other people's stories, successes and all that. But like, it's more like, not only like not only if you join through us that you get all these amazing trainings from dave and, and legendary marketer or whatever that whatever you're promoting but we are going to be there to support you after you join right it's not going to be like you join and then like okay yeah bye on to the next person no i'm going to support you and i'm going to lead you to that result right as best as we can right and that's kind of like something that i really or oh, eugene and i really really emphasize on is like that the relationship starts after you commit, right? After you join, you know, whatever sure. that is. I think mean, that's that is like something that we really always talk about, like, um, like, and I don't know, yeah. It's just, it's just that, I just I said that's so that was a point that I wanted to say. Yeah. And, no, I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, I, I, you know, I, um, I'm sitting here and I, 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 I hope that you guys. Uh, and I, and I wonder, I don't hope I, I'm curious. I wonder if those of you listening kind of feel 
the the mission behind what these guys are doing there's something mm-hmm. that feels there's something that feels bigger it feels bigger just talking to 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 these guys what they're doing you can tell that it feels bigger than just them it's not it's not about them just trying to make a buck um i mean even the fact and i'd like to ask you guys who are listening what what even if you just had to come up with them right now listening to this right now and i'd like you to drop them in the comments what are your three core values what are your three core values um th- that that's really powerful that you guys were able to um you know come up with those you had those it's like you have a mission statement you you know what you stand for and i think that th- there's a there's a saying that says if you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything and i think that's really true in this industry specifically but it's also can be true in every industry uh it can be true in anything that you do in life if i don't stand for selling uh things that i believe in and then following through like how we do it legendary we we're willing and commit to standing by our students um as long as we're in business which is i made a 25 year commitment to 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 this brand so that's going to be a long mm-hmm. time and uh maybe my kids will take over after that or who knows maybe I'll turn it over to Evan and Eugene or or Matt Hetzel or Julie or I don't know <laughs> I don't know I mean who knows what will mm-hmm. happen in in 25 years but uh anyways there's a there's a, there's there is there is a big it's bigger than just me right and I I sense that with you mm-hmm. guys and I like that and it feels good um, I want to I want to talk I want to move the conversation along a little bit to the specifics of, of your marketing and what you've been doing. Um, mm-hmm. You guys talked about really focusing in on platforms. Uh, what are your one free and your one paid uh, that that either you started out with and then where are you now? What's what specific marketing strategy is getting you the most results uh, now? So. At first, our one free, one paid was YouTube was our free. Mm -hmm. And then we had Facebook ads, which was our paid. And that was like for the first four months, I think up until before the mastermind, which was like February, that was our core focus. You know, we were just like pumping out videos, you know, we're checking out on our ads and we're adjusting head like ad copies and we're testing, 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 testing. But um, like, well, like those, you know, it was good. We had a lot of content. We started building up subscribers. We started building up, you know, uh, some people started to notice us, you know, our ads. We're starting to, you know, they're getting better. You know, we're learning how to do things. And in the beginning, it's, it's a lot of testing and, you know, you're still getting used to it. Um, but in terms of this, you know, we were getting leads, but in terms of sales, you know, it wasn't consistent. Um, it, it was good. I was really happy. I remember like on December 24th, we made our first legendary marketer sale, even though it was like mm-hmm. you know, a $7 sale, but you know, we were happy, but right. it wasn't enough. Like, it wasn't enough to, you know, cause at that time, mm-hmm. you know, before the mastermind, I think like, cause right now for me, I had, we had a, like, I had a deadline, which was like June of this year. Like, you know, if, if we have to get something going, like whether that is, you know, a couple thousand dollars at least, you know, if it's just to show our parents, just to show them, you know, this is okay. You know, we, we, we can get our, you know, shit together, you know, with this business. Right. And I think at that time we were like very urgent, but you know, with YouTube, of course, it's very algorithm focused. So it is, there's a limit of how much we can control. We can pump out videos every day, yeah. but you know, sometimes the algorithm, sometimes you make is the best video, you know, we, we put in so much work into it and we post it and it just, nobody watches it. Yeah. We're like, damn it man like what well, like what do we do wrong and then you know sometimes the ads suddenly facebook just bans you right right it's like everything is going smooth and then boom you know mark zuckerberg freaking bans you right and it's like damn it you <laughs> know? And, it's, and it was it was frustrating and i think like coming up to the mastermind we the reason why we're taking so many notes is because okay you know what like gotta make this work we've got to ask as many questions as we can we just gotta you know pick all their brains so that, you know, when we come back, we have to reform our strategy in terms of, you know, how can we, it wasn't that, it wasn't that YouTube or Facebook doesn't work. It's like, what can we do to kind of push it up a little bit, you know, and push it up, get it off make the it ground, little, right? Get it launched, get, it off get the, some momentum going. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, exactly. And then it was all like we were like t- we were about to turn a corner, you know, we were about there and then, you know, it something happens, right? So we wanted to we want to break through. We want to break through that first level. And of course, the first level for most people is the 10k per month, right? That 10k mark. So we're so after the mastermind, you know, at that time we didn't have like a super big list. We have, I think we don't even have a big list right now. We only have like 800 people or something, which is pretty small to be honest. Yeah. Right? Um like, you know, I thought we'd have a big list, but we just kept thinking, okay, what can we do to to maximize what we get from this list? Like, even though it's only 600 people right now, but what can we do so that we can really, you know, get to, you know, make sales? How, do we, how can we make sales with this small list? And I think the thing that we started to implement, and that's why we're implementing now, and I think the core reason why we've been able to get some of the, you know, that 10K in the past 30 days was... Okay, instead of just using email, you know, the traditional funnel, we actually started to create more conversations. And our thinking, our thought process was, you know, as an affiliate marketer, for us, we want to not just, you know, we want to promote and recommend products like we're a friend. You know, right. we have that such a strong, no like and trust factor because friends are, you know, they trust each other um, and they, they, you know, they know each other, like each other. They have that strong relationship and we want to recommend it like it's a friend. Right. And I think... With the, the things that we were doing with YouTube, with the emails, yes, that works. That's great. That's a good follow-up. Um, but it's like, it doesn't build that connection. It doesn't build that relationship. I don't talk to my friends on email, right? And well, it's a, it's a monologue. It's not a dialogue. You're just talking at yeah. people through a video versus being able to have a dialogue and conversate with them. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm following. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and that was when, you know what, like, so your know, YouTube, we're still doing, but how, what can we do to get them onto, like, to actually talk to us sure. and, you know, have, actually have a dialogue, right? And I think that's when we started transitioning more to a Facebook um, approach yeah. where we actually had, we opened our Facebook group, right? And we started talking to people and we just started to understand where they're at, what their struggles are, mm. right? And, you know, we saw, you know, some people in Legendary, you know, just a quick shout out to Jacob, Jacob Karras, you know, him. With his group, we you know we modeled off his group, right. and you know we, we kind of found we kind of found him through Legendary, right. mm-hmm. so, which was great. And I think like I think a lot a lot just so many so many things that we can do in Legendary in terms of networking and all that. But sure. I can get into that later. But um, just seeing him, and then we kind of just modeled off him, and you know modeled off his group, um, and then but the main thing was just creating more conversations, talking to people, and that's when we've been really. Um, able to build that know, like, and trust factor really quickly, build our brand, get noticed really quickly. And that's when we start getting those first couple high ticket sales. And then that's, you know, that's when momentum started building and we leveraged the crap out of it. And that's where we got to, how we got to here pretty much. Eugene, anything to add? To yes. That? Um, just very quickly, basically, um, you know, before we were so focused on YouTube, uh, but again, just like how Evan explained it, it is more the um, really based on the algorithm, right? So I would say it's still a little bit more passive in a sense. And we, and we realize that we really want to add a more active approach. Right. In it. Because sometimes it would be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done my video. I optimize it. I upload it. And it's kind of like be like waiting. And that's like the last thing you want in your business, right? right? Because, you know, something that you taught us too, right? You know, you should have a very, very clear DMO that, you know, when you sit down, you should know exactly what you're doing. And that was something that we feel like we, we struggle with that too. Sometimes it's like, Oh, after, after the content creation and what, okay, we can't be just waiting. right? Right. And so after adding that, creating a conversation and that's something too, that was something that we really focus on is to, we want to be promoting or recommending stuff to people like we are their friends, because that's the only way where, you know, you're not going to be sound like uh, scammy or like salesy or just like, you know, give the spam the links or anything, right? This is not what we want to do. And I think by having that much more active approach, again, we're not saying that we are completely, we just completely give up YouTube, like YouTube works, but it's just that, you know, because it does take a little bit more time and it, especially after, you know, um, coming back from the mastermind, talking with like big guys like Big Mark and then Avon Lucas, we know YouTube works, but it does take some time to build up, right? right. And and so that was it, you know, like, and, and I would say right here, you know, in, in terms of creating conversation, you know, um, recommending that product like a friend, 
that was something that I really, that was one of the biggest takeaway uh, for me, especially, you know, um, doing the mastermind was like, I remember we had that conversation with Nathan and then you know, basically he was sh basically sharing a lot of uh, the stuff that he's been doing in his business. And I still remember like, like there was this time where like uh, he was showing us his stuff and then he was like, Hey, you, you guys, do you want to like take a look at what I'm doing actually inside my YouTube? Like at that time, I feel like, wow, it's like, first of all, it's really cool. And the second, like, you know, like he was just talking to us, like, like he's our friend. really really you know um first of all very easy to uh, very approachable at the same time it's like very easy to trust him like at that point i would be like you know whatever he offers like, I, i'll just go 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 in for it and that's something that we want to you know like that's something we want to create too to let people know that hey you know what um we're showing you what we're actually doing and the fact that what, what, whatever we're promoting is legit yeah. right and this is something where we want to be able to show them that and then be to be able to help them yeah. instead of just like oh just sell 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 yeah without without providing that value to uh to people first so yeah yeah so i, mm -hmm. I guys this is this is gold thank you for being so transparent i want to i want to try to break this down so it's crystal mm -hmm. clear for all of you guys mm -hmm. who are watching first of all are you getting a lot of value out of this if you guys are man drop these guys some love down below let them know um what time is it where you guys live is it in hong kong right what time is it yeah 10 it's, it's 10 46. all right man they're, they're, they're up at 10 46. i know you want i know you guys want kudos for being up at 10 46 a.m on this call but these guys are 46 <laughs> p.m so um now let's let's break down what these guys are saying because I've got, I want to frame this. I want to tee this up so you can walk away from this and really take tons of, of, of actionable steps. So first and mm -hmm. foremost, coming in, looking at what other marketers are doing, you know, these guys in our legendary community, we've got, you know, a lot of people who are crushing it because they've got big YouTube channels. So the tendency, the tendency might be, well, I need to do exactly what that person's doing because that they're they're getting results but you're comparing when you do that you just have to make sure that you understand that you're comparing your day one to maybe their year three right and that you're not going to just be able to walk in and get the same results that they're getting after they've been at this for three years posting a couple of videos a week on their youtube channel you know what these guys were saying was they had a hard time even getting views on videos so Mm -hmm. that's that's going to be the case that's what's going to happen at the very beginning so if you want to post videos on youtube and eventually build up a big channel on youtube you know you have to commit to posting videos to that youtube channel for multiple years not just multiple weeks now mm -hmm. most people and i've seen this happen a thousand times um is is they get in day one week one month one okay i'm going to copy w who's getting the biggest results now all of a sudden I don't get the same results. It must not work for me. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to quit there. And instead, what what these guys mm -hmm. did, which is so important, and I think this is critical that everybody takes this away from this 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 show this morning is that they said, "Okay, let me continue to test because there's something here. Let me continue to test. Let me find something that works for me." that I can do, and most of all, that I can extract results from the small resources that I have. They had a, a list or had a list of 600 people. Uh, that, that is a small list. Now, you may be saying, well, I don't, you know, there's always mm -hmm. ways that we can discount ourselves. Well, I don't even have 600 people. I have 10 people. But they had 10 people <laughs> at, at one time, too. I had 10 people on my list at one mm -hmm. time as well. And the question is, is how can I extract results from the resources that I have. And so they took it to Facebook. And what I've seen them doing, and this is just looking from an outside looking in, guys. You guys explain what you're doing in your words. Now I want to explain just in my words what I've seen them doing. I've seen them mm -hmm. insert themselves into Facebook groups and insert themselves onto their Facebook profile and post valuable content. Um, it, it doesn't even have to specifically be about their own results. It can just be, what did you guys learn from this call, from this show today, where so many valued nuggets, gold big bars were dropped 
that you can then go and put into your own words and post on your Facebook feed and then also go in and here's what's really key post that value into other Facebook groups that are already existing so now all of a sudden you go fishing in other people's ponds that they've already created and when you make these posts mm -hmm. in Facebook groups you don't go in and post your links and go be pitchy and salesy you just you 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 go you do marketing through attraction rather than promotion so by by putting mm -hmm. by putting value out there you're automatically going to attract people to you you're automatically going to attract people to want to friend you on Facebook you're automatically going to want to attract people to follow you now all of a sudden people start reaching out to you and you become the hunted instead of the hunter and in mm -hmm. I guess six when was that mastermind was that I'm losing track of time was that 60 days ago 90 it was it was this year wasn't it yeah it was, it uh, was yeah February was it seven, seven to nine seven to nine. nine to eleven so so mid okay. mid nine to eleven okay mid february now all of a sudden it's mid april 60 days later these guys went from mm -hmm. sitting there taking notes i had no idea who they were <laughs> okay i i didn't know i i mean seriously if i would have known that coronavirus existed i may not have let you guys in you know what I mean? But, but because they came from Hong Kong. You know what I mean? But anyways, I didn't know the coronavirus. So these guys got into the mastermind. They're sitting there taking notes, man. I didn't know who these guys were. 60 days later, you know, I'm interviewing them. And that's all because of you know, what was just shared here over the last 52 minutes. And it's, it's really, really incredible. And I'm, uh, I'm grateful to have you, you know, I'm excited not only for what you've done, but also for what you guys are going to do. So any final thoughts that you would share to people who are listening to this, who are in those same seats or in those same shoes that you guys were in, uh, just a few months ago. Mm, I think, the the most important thing is don't underestimate like the the value that you can deliver to people. Like you guys, just look at like like what Dave just said in terms of the things you were post. Like we were posting a lot on Legendary Marketer, like the group, and the things we were posting. Of course, they were not links to anything. It was our journey, right? And the first post, go back to the first post. Recently, it came up just today. It was right after the mastermind. Our thoughts and like our you know, just our experience, right? And that was the first thing, okay? And then, if, and then we continue to document our journey throughout the entire, like, two months, the past two months onto Legendary Market, and people saw that, right? And I think, like, a lot of times we discredit just because, oh, yeah, I only made a sale or I'm, I'm nobody, um, that we don't document these results, but it's really important because it builds up into a really crazy story, and that's how you... Once you hit, you know, kind of that first one thousand dollars or ten k, that's when people look back as like, oh my gosh, this guy just went from zero to here. And I think that that seeing that transformation is really powerful. So I think the number one thing I would suggest you guys is to document your journey from the very beginning, from making that first video, implementing that, or making that first sale, getting that first funnel up. You know, just document. Yeah. Yes. That's that's huge, Eugene. What uh, what about you? Um, again, I would say like it's it's very like the online business. Like there's something that I I've learned to like you know for for the like in the past. I'm just like it's amazing how you know a lot of people were were, were scared. Like I was scared too, right? Again, like um, not being or not giving enough value to people or people don't find me um, attractive in terms of like someone who want to be following for uh, to do this online business together. Right. But it's, it's amazing how like, you know, when, once you're really willing to share your, your journey, even, you know, the smallest when, you know, you talked about this a lot, right. Share and document even the smallest way, maybe your first lead or your, 
the first dollar that you earn online. Pe- there are always people who are gonna be who are gonna relate to you, who are gonna actually want to follow you in this journey, right? And this is something that I still remember when Matt was talking about that journey to six figure. That one was something that was really um, like very powerful because it's like everyone is in that journey. And, you know, even if you probably just started or you're new, but you have to remember that there's always a, a, a other people who are behind you. There may be people who haven't even started yet or just getting started. So even if you're like one day ahead of them in this journey, yeah. you have some, you already know something more. And there's something that could be more valuable and something that this person w- might, might learn from you. And that's something that's why it's very important to, to have that confidence as like, you know, to really want to share everything that you learn. It could be a mistake that you make or, you know, just anything little, because that's the only way where people were able to, to see you and see you that you're a real, a real human being. Right. And that, and that is something that I think is very important, even though it's all online in a sense, but at the end of the day, like it's real people buying from real people. This is like we're in a relationship business, right? Yeah. It's very important to let them feel that, you know, hey, this is a real human being that are actually working in this business and we care about you. So huge, man. You guys, uh, incredible work, incredible job. I know it's just the beginning, so I'm not gonna mm-hmm. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna inflate your your heads up too too big because <laughs> You got a long way to go, man. You know, there's a lot of work to be done. You guys have yes, you know, yes. a lot of potential, a lot of potential. And, uh, you know, it's early in the game. It's just the first quarter, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, I'm looking forward to continuing to, to, to help you guys and uh, support you guys and um, for you guys to continue to grow, uh, to be – uh, bigger influences and you know a bigger help to our community and your community and uh you know i look forward to what you guys are able to do for yourselves and also your parents in the future because uh, that really is man uh, one of the best feelings to be able to give back and and do uh things for people even who were critics at Absolutely. the beginning you know even who are a little mm-hmm. skeptical that's okay you know we realize that a lot of our family members who uh, were critical or skeptical really just really just did that out of love. You know, they really just they really just want the best mm-hmm. for us or they're afraid. You know, they're just afraid. I had friends who, you know, were just kind of afraid and I don't have to take on their feelings. I can I can continue to blaze the trail. I can continue to lead regardless of what people are saying around me. And I think it's also important I want to thank you guys for coming on here and, and being with everybody no because problem. we're going through a tough time right no. now in the world, man. Thank you. You know what I mean? Mm. We're going through a tough mm. time and to show yes. people that, you know, that now is a time to try to keep your head above water, you know, not to sink down and, and drown, but to keep your head above water. And if you got to hold on to some other people, if you got to, you know, if you got to jump in somebody else's boat, we got a lot of people who are jumping in our boat, you know, our community boat right now, because, you know, they're feeling like they're floating and drowning in this ocean that is as the world is really shifting and changing right in front of our eyes right now. Uh, And it's becoming really to our advantage. And this is sad because a lot of people have had a lot of hardship, but it's shifting to a digital Mm -hmm. world right in front of our eyes, right here, right now, you know, and there's a lot of people um, who are looking for a new path, who are looking for new opportunity, who are realizing that old tired lie that you got to be a good little boy or a good little girl, get good grades, go to college, you know, go to grad mm-hmm. school, get a job, that that's the only path. It's not. The game has officially changed. These guys are proof of that. And so keep up the fantastic work. And I look forward to getting you back on the show here in another 60 days mm-hmm. and getting another update. <laughs> 100K. Nice. Hope it be earlier. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Yeah. We're going to end with that. You guys have a fantastic day. Be legendary. And we'll talk to you. Legendary. Right here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. So